Okay, welcome. This is the moles review. Make sure you've got a calculator and your reference tables. Which list consists of types of chemical formulas? So I'm just looking formulas. That's going to be choice three. Empirical, molecular, and structural. Empirical, that would be the simplest form. Molecular is some multiple larger. And a structural formula is showing how the atoms are put together. The molecular formula of glucose is C6H12O6. What is the empirical? So an empirical would be simplify this. So I'm going to see that 6 and a 12 and a 6. I can take a 6 out of all of those, and then I'd get C1H2O, which is choice 2. So which two compounds have the same empirical formula, meaning which would simplify down to the same thing? So if I took a, in choice one, if I took a two out of both, that would be a C to the H. And if I took a two out of both, this would be a CH2. So it can't be that one. CH2, so that's a one to two ratio. This is not a one to two ratio. Uh, number three, a one to one ratio and a two to one. Nope. A one to two ratio and a two to four ratio. That is the same thing. What is the molecular formula of a compound that has a molecular mass of 54 and empirical formula C2H3? So we have to find the empirical GFM. So that's the GFM of carbon, which is 12, times 2, which is 24, and 3 times 1, which is 3. So total is 27. And 54 is some multiple larger. 54 divided by 27 is 2. So I'm going to take that 2, and I'm going to multiply both of my subscripts by that. So I'm going to get C4H6. It's going to be choice 2. And I'll erase this for that. Which chemical formula is both an empirical and a molecular? Which means, um, basically, it's the simplest form. And the only one, well, I guess I don't know until I put these together. C2H4O2. Well, that's not simplest. Neither is that. C, 4, H, 5, and 3 is 8, O, oh, 2, no, it's got to be choice 1. The gram formula mass of that is, okay, so I'm going to, I have my periodic table next to me, as you should. So nitrogen is 1, so that's going to be 14 plus 4 times 1, which is 4, plus 35. So... 14 plus 4 plus 35 gives me 53 grams per mole. So I did some rounding, so it's why it's not exactly your choice 3, but that's it. What is the molar mass? Molar mass is the same as GFM. So barium is 137. This 2 is distributed, so 16 times 2 is 32 and 2. So 137 plus 32 plus 2 is 171. So there's a 0.3 that I didn't have, but I just rounded and they didn't. <clears throat> so the gram formula mass of this hydrate. Sorry, it's on two different lines. So first of all, I know the GFM of water is 18. So 5 times 18 is 90. So that's the hydrate part. Copper is 64 and sulfur is 32 and 4 oxygens is 16 times 4, so that's 64, so that's 160. So 160 plus 90 gives you 250 grams per mole, so choice 4. What is the total number of moles of atoms? So we didn't talk about this too much, we just count up the number of atoms. So 2 nitrogens and 8 hydrogens, it's 10, plus 1 sulfur is 11, plus 4 is 15. Choice 4. In the compound, Al2O3, what is the ratio of aluminum to oxygen? So remember, these are molar ratios. Mole ratios is what we do when we're finding empirical formulas. So two moles of aluminum to three moles of oxygen. Choice three. Which sample contains one mole of atoms? So don't forget that one mole is equal to the GFM. One mole is also equal to Avogadro's number, and it's also equal to 22.4 liters of a gas at STP, but we're given grams. So which of these lines up with its correct GFM? So 23 grams of sodium, that is our answer. Uh, the GFM of carbon is 12, so that's why that's not it. The GFM of this is 83, or actually it's 84, so nope. 
and potassium is 39, so that's not it. What is the total mass in grams of 0.75 moles of SO2? So I have moles, I'm gonna do the work down here. I need moles to grams, so one mole, I need the GFM of SO2. So going to periodic table, 32 is the mass of sulfur, and 16 times two, so that's 32. So 32 plus 32 is 64 grams per mole. So 0.75 times 64 is 48. So here we go. So I'm gonna erase this work now, because we talked about it. How many molecules are in 0.25 moles of O2? So 0 0.25 moles. One mole is Avogadro's number. So what I do is I do 0.25 times just the coefficient and I get 1.505 and then I tack on times 10 to the 23rd. And I should have two sig figs, so it should be 1.5 times 10 to the 23rd. Vitamin C has an empirical formula of that and a molecular mass of that. Okay, so we're looking for molecular formulas again. Since I'm given the empirical, I, can, I need to find its GFM. So 12 times three is, this is 36, four times one is four, 16 times three is 48. So 48 plus four plus 36 is 88 grams per mole is your empirical. So 176 is our molecular, so that if we divide that, it's gonna be a factor of two, sorry, multiple of two. So I'm gonna multiply all three of these subscripts by two, so I'm gonna have C6H8 O6, choice two. Okay, calculating empirical formulas. So I take first I take percentages, I make them grams. So 57 grams of sulfur, 43 grams of oxygen. Divide each by their GFM. So 57 divided by 32 is, don't give me a lot of room here, 1.78 moles of sulfur, 40 three divided by 16 is 2.68 whatever moles of oxygen divide each by <clears throat> the smaller so sulfur is going to be a one 2.68 divided by 1.78 gives me 1.5 now normally i would just say okay round it up round it down but when you're right in the middle if you have a one and a 1.5 this is going to be doubled to two and this is gonna be going to the three. So only when you come up with a right in the middle 0.5, you're gonna to need to double it. So it will indeed be choice four. Normally, we're just gonna round up, round down, and you'd be all set. But right in the middle, we do have to double. Okay, we're calculating again. 14.6 grams of carbon, 85.4 grams of chlorine. Divide by GFMs, 14.6 divided by 12. 1.21 moles of C, 85.4 divided by uh, 35 is 2.44 moles of chlorine. Divide each by the smallest and you're gonna get a one to two ratio. So C, Cl2. If any of this is too fast, you need more uh, explanation, please see me. What is the percent composition <coughs> by mass of hydrogen in that formula? So thankfully they gave us the total GFM, thank you. So now we only need to find the mass of hydrogen and that'll be our numerator. So I see four and then another one, so five hydrogens. Five times one is five over 79 times 100. So five divided by 79 times 100, 6.3%. In which compound is the percent by mass oxygen the greatest? So the mass of oxygen is 16. Looks like we have one for all of those. So that's our, or, sorry, numerator. And then beryllium is nine. So 16 plus nine is 25. And magnesium is 24. So 16 plus 24, so 40. Uh, calcium is 40, 16 plus 40 is 56, and strontium is 88 plus 16 is 104. And we'd have to multiply each of those by 100, but you know what? I don't really need to because I, you know, 
if I'm looking for the biggest number, I want the one where the numbers are closest. So numerator and denominator are closest in choice one. <clears throat> and again, I would multiply all these by 100 and I'd figure it out and I already did. A student obtained the following data to determine the percent by mass of water and hydrate. So data table, what is the percent by mass of water? Okay, so when they give you the information, you don't use GFM, you use lab data. So the crucible cover is crucible and cover is that. So the crucible cover and the hydrate is 14.9. So 14.9 minus 11.7. So the hydrate is 3.2 grams. So if the anhydrate, let's subtract out the mass of the stuff. So the anhydrate is 2.83. So the hydrate has water, the anhydrate does not. So 3.2 minus 2.83 gives me 0.37, and that is the water. So 0.37 over 3.2 times 100, 11.5%, so 12%. Nineteen. Whoa. Yeah, it is. I doubted myself for a second. Uh, what is the mole ratio of hydrogen to hydrogen fluoride? So we haven't talked about re um, reactants too much, but there's the coefficient here, and nothing's written, so that's a 1, and this is a 2, so a 1 to 2 ratio. Which quantity represents 1 mole at SDP? So um, if your grams, 1 mole is equal to the GFM, but 1 mole is also equal to 22.4 liters of a gas. So the gram formula mass of O2 is 16 times 2. It's 32. So this is not right. The GFM of water is 2 plus 16, so 18. So that's not right. So now we have 22.4 liters, but only one of these is gas. So that's what we want. Base your answers on the following. Gypsum is a mineral that is used in the construction industry. Okay, so what is the GFM of this? So what I always do is the hydrate first. So 2 times 18. So what is that, 36? Yeah, this is a 36. Now, over here, we've got calcium, which is 40. Sulfur, which is 32. And oxygen, which is 16 times 4. So 16 times 4 is 64. 40 plus 32 plus 64 plus 36 is 172 grams per mole. And I showed work, so I'd get credit. Show a correct numerical setup for calculating percent composition by mass of water and record your answer. So if it was just correct numerical setup, I'd put the answer. I would not include the answer, but I have to this time. So it says, uh, so it would be the mass of 2H2O, that's our part. CASO4.2H2O would be the bottom times 100. So if I didn't need an answer, that's all I do. But I do need an answer. So I already know the GFM of the whole thing, so that's 172. I know the mass of the water, which is 2 times 18, so that's 36 times 100. So 36 divided by 172 times 100 gives me 20.9. So I'm going to say 21%. Didn't ask for sig figs. 24, given the compound, calculate the molar mass of that compound. <laughs> okay, so hey, it's gonna be four times 12, it's gonna be 10 times one, it's gonna be eight times 16, you add them up. So 12 times four is 48, this is 10, and 16 times eight is 128. We're gonna add those up, and you're gonna get 180 six grams per mole. Part B says calculate the number of moles and 17.7 grams of this. So 17.7 grams. So it's 186 grams per one mole. So we're just going to divide 17.7 divided by 186 and we're going to get 0 0.09516 moles. Now it did not ask us to round to sig figs. If I were to ask you, you take it from the given, which is three, so that would be 0 0.0951 moles. What is the empirical formula for this compound? So 
what I need to do is I need to simplify C4H10O8. If I take a two out of all of those, I'm gonna get a C2H5O4. Make that five look a little bit more like a five. Um, that is as far as I'm gonna go because the five limits us. So I can't take a four out of all of those. So C2H5O4.